Hi, I'm Dr. Pixie McKenna, and today I'm going to share with you my top tips on how to get the best out of your emollient, whether it's for your own skin or that of a loved one. Patients often ask me how much emollient should they apply. You should aim to use a teaspoon size worth to cover an area about the same size as your palm. You should apply it liberally, aiming to get a shimmer of the emollient on the skin. When you're applying your emollient, it's really important to apply it in the direction of your hair and avoid the temptation to rub it in vigorously because this will only serve to irritate the skin. You could use an emollient such as Cetraben for this. It's really difficult to remember to apply your emollient. So what I would advise you to do is attach it to particular times of the day. So you might want to put it on in the morning after you've had your shower, just before lunch, when you come home from work, and then before you go to bed. It's a great idea to apply emollient after a bath or a shower because that actually traps an extra layer of water so it gives you extra hydration. The other thing is always remember when you're going out for the day or whether you're going to work that you need to bring your emollient with you and there are very handy 50 gram size containers that will fit really simply into your handbag. In terms of what you're washing your skin with, it's advisable to avoid regular soaps and shower gels and switch to bath additives and soap substitutes. Ideally, you want to choose products that are sodium lauryl sulfate free and parabens free because these two constituents are known to aggravate sensitive skin. Top tips for getting the best from your emollient are apply liberally, aiming for a shimmer on your skin, Apply in the direction of your skin hair. Use your emollient at least four times a day. Try to get into a routine. And consider bath additives and soap substitutes.